<laughs> okay, we can go right into it. It's episode 28, Lost yeah. in the Cost. Back to back. Baby, let's go. Hack, Papa. Eat our tabi. And, or we watched everyone at the National. That wasn't us. Yeah, it was But the thing fantastic. is, I find, okay, so we're in the realm of card influencers. But I don't think either of us are truly asking to be an influencer. Yeah. It, I, well, I don't even think we flip cards, really. I do think, like, I always just look at its stuff now. I'm like, man, I just collect stuff. Like, low-key, weird thing. So mm, I'm collecting mm. these cards. And I like my stuff to have value, and I like to do what I want. That's why the sh things are kind of shuffling all the time. But, yeah, you get stuff to sell stuff because how it fuels, it's, it's like a self-sustaining thing. Yeah. Or you want it to be. So whatever. But then the influencers that we like see on the socials, it's like not card content. It's like other influencers taking pictures with each other. What is that? It's just friends, man. Friends being friends. Yeah, but okay, let's <laughs> I'm this is our vow is like okay, Frogger's trade night on Friday. Uh we yeah, we'll take pictures week. with everyone. Just take pictures. Yeah, I guess so. We're going in, man. I'm just going to be like, yo, bro, I need to get a pick. Tag up, tag up. But like, it's whack because we're not anybody. Just weird. Yeah, we, we're, we're a bunch of nobodies. <laughs> it's weird. Community hall shows. We, we're there. Yeah. Let's do it. No. But I don't know. It just like rubs you the wrong way and i it's not even like i want to go to the national i have like no drive for that show <laughs> well you know everything is marked up yeah eh, yeah i know um like you're going to the I, national to like make a sick deal like no you're not i go to the national just for the free stuff i feel like do they give I, free stuff I'm, I'm pretty sure they do. uh you could probably get a swag something or other did you see yeah, that guy ripping that wild card shit no i sent uh, you so you, he spent like a hundred dollars uh american and each pack there's a paul skeens pack so every single card in this pack is skeens okay you want to auto or a 101 is what he said and then he's hitting like two out of 25 just a random unlicensed card the Brock Purdy pack. What do you think's in that one? Boo, 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 boo. And <laughs> just junk, junk. But like, it's hilarious that they're selling packs of a specific player well, they did for a certain Caleb, value. Caleb so Clark. like, it didn't need to be in a pack. Yeah. Who cares? Well, that's what, isn't Panini doing that with Caitlin Clark? No, this was a wild card thing. No, but like Caitlin Clark, they have their own. The Caitlin Clark set, no, because there was no thing. But they do that like top set with just uh, Trevor Lawrence too and stuff like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, where was the tops? Uh, Caleb Williams set. Didn't see it. It's coming out in progress. Caleb Williams didn't sign a, a fucknatic deal, did he? Um. I haven't heard anything about it. And I'm pretty sure something there's everyone something wants. that he... I'm pretty sure he's probably with Fanatics. I haven't heard anything either. I know Marvin Harrison is the only one that has, like... They're having licensing issues with Marvin Harrison. But that's a... But that's, like... NFL that's like I think that's, like, card. everything. I feel like, I feel like yeah. it's with everything. He can't even have a card. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Can't put his name on anything. Can't be on Madden. Whatever. Good for him. A receiver. Woo! Long-term value. Long-term value. Yeah. Anyways, we weren't at the National. I don't feel like I'll ever be there unless for some reason someone's like, you need to be here and it's going to be free for you to be there. I'm like, oh, okay, I'll go. But <laughs> We're going to be ambassadors next year. No. You heard it here first. On Lost in the Cost, episode 20, what is this? 8? 28. We are going to be ambassadors next year at the uh, the national. I'd rather not. 
thought we will be. Imagine a negative influencer being at there. Me. Yeah. Triple six. Triple six. Yeah. Oh, that guy's a dick. Do you want a picture with him? Yeah. Look at him. No. I don't know, man. I'm not going to put that juju in the world. I'd rather go to a show where we can still do card stuff and not feel like... You can do card stuff there. No, just... well, yeah, you can. But it doesn't seem like that's the focus. I'm just going to do card videos of like me going like, Oh, what's... uh, How much for this full case? Oh. Okay. And I just walk away. Oh, those videos of that dude, <laughs> Shine, that's not the rapper Shine. Yeah, I was wondering, I'm like, where's Shine? <laughs> Um, like, this is not is Shine it, the isn't Rapper. Is Shine in jail? <laughs> well, I thought he was out. He's like a reverend now or something. Okay, probably. But uh, it's just some dude. Yeah, I don't know where like this he, guy came from. Dude, he looks like he sucks. Oh, and then he like grabs but he the has card. Money. Grabs the card out of the guy's hand. I'm like, yo. <laughs> yeah, I saw another thing too. And he was like opening a box of Exquisite that was like a repack. Yeah. And that brings me to the other thing, um, sports investor. And I was in the lost in the cost account on Instagram commenting. And you know, it's me because it's like rude. <laughs> and some it was a sports investor post saying, look at this guy hit a Jordan rookie on the blah, blah, blah repack. I'm like, it's a repack. And that's one of the chase oh, cards that, was, that uh... you showed. So yeah, no one should be fucking surprised. To hit the chase card. That was Gary V. Yeah, but no one should yeah, be yeah, surprised yeah. to hit the chase card. Yeah, that's yeah. not news. Yeah, that's what's supposed to happen. Yeah. That's exactly what's supposed to happen. Somebody actually hit the chase card? That's weird. Yeah. It's not fake. Well, it's too late now. You don't want to buy them anymore because the card's gone. That's true. But, like, but Gary, v, Gary V got money. He don't, you don't care, man. I don't even know who the hell he is. You don't know Gary V? Dude, I listen no. to Gary V. He's good. Okay. So see, I am negative stuff. But he's not he's not he's not like a card influencer. He's more of like a business influencer, like a, a like stocks. Yeah. No, 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 stocks. not stocks. Not stocks. Like if you want to Put start up your own business, more like a social media like how to succeed in like social media and how to grow your business via social media type of thing. And he no, he's he has good advice, I think. Okay. Well then. But anyways, good for him. I still think <laughs> when you or whoever's making repacks and they say these are the chase cards and then the cards never surface where people act like, oh, oh, but everyone's putting all this pressure on repacks lately. Yeah. Insane. I'm going to repack some of these. Uh, yeah, repack PSA that. PSA 9s. But like... Is it because people see the chase card and they're like, okay, there's definitely not going to be like a hundred thousand packs to find the one card. So there's a thousand packs. So the odds are better. Like how bad do you want that chase card? Yeah. But I mean, at the price of what it was 25 bucks. A US. So that's not bad, but generally, okay. That's like, well, like the price of a blaster. And you could hit that. Yeah. Jordan rookies. So that's pretty good return. But I think here's yeah. what they need to do with all these freaking repacks. They have to lay everything out on the table rather than keeping like the other repacks underneath the table. Cause remember when we were at the show here. Yeah, the expo and the one guy has his extra packs in the under the table. Under the table. I'm all like, oh, okay. Like, I thought the odds were decent, but then it's like, you have 500 packs below the damn table. Like, should have known. Well, and... the, the thing that's greasy about that, too, is that he, he, they probably know which ones have whatever, and they put them all oh, under yeah. the table. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you please uh, show me the evidence that you shuffled these boxes? Mm -hmm. And you uh, trust put them this in a guy? order. You trust this guy? Next year, are you going to trust him? No. And you know what? Next year, we'll just get a table at the expo, and we will have the dice game. <laughs> I'm going to save these cards for the dice game here. Yeah, might as well. 
some people already talk about buying for the next expo. I'm like, wow. I don't know. Oh. Spending the money. Spending. But I don't know. Like, I... I get, oh, Allure. Yeah. For Upper Deck. Yeah. This this episode's going to come out way too late. That is the, the newest <laughs> product at the time. And now it is the newest product, but next week I don't want. I I don't know. Allure always is weird. It comes out, the price is okay, and then it kind of goes down. They're all shiny, like Prism and stuff. They're nice. And each box used to have one auto per, and now it doesn't. Oh, really? They put case. The case hits could replace the auto now. What are the What are the case hits? I don't know. Random shiny cards from Upper Deck. Pretty sure I got like a lure. I don't think I got an auto from a lure last year. They're just shiny just things. Yeah. They do like something where you could like have the color wave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you yeah, have yeah. the parallels and stuff. So it's whatever. But they have RPAs and I low key like the RPAs from that, but it's sticker autos and stuff. Hmm. <clears throat> but it's hockey. So I only have done like four loose packs from random places. <clears throat> I was ripping it out east, like PEI, in a vlog that will eventually come out. I got a pack of it. Every single pack, though, that I've opened, I open it, the back card, it's a, and all you see is a Hawks logo. And I'm like, oh, okay. And it's never Bedard. <laughs> but it's always a Hawks on the back. Oh, my gosh. That's brutal. So bad. Two Kevin Korchinskis, one Jackson Stauber or whatever it is. And yeah. another one was like a non rookie or something. I can't remember. <laughs> it's real sad. But like a Bedard auto would be huge, right? That'd be awesome. And they're in there. But oh. mm, I still think my favorite product for this Bedard chasing stuff right now is Bin Trilogy. Have you hit has... a Bedard in Trilogy? None. It's the only set I probably hit zero Bedard cards from. <clears throat> yeah. Uh... But I still like it the most somehow for some reason. I'm still, still going to go for it. Uh, the There's like a card I really like. It's Rookie Renditions. Red. Okay. If you get the red, it's out of like $7.99 or something. So it's pretty high. But the red is the color match for Bedard in that set. It looks pretty good. Well, that's the thing. It's like you you you, want, uh, you see the seeing red from the extended, and I think the mm -hmm. seeing red actually looks like really good for Bedard. Yeah, just because color match and whatever. But you know. color match, color match is so pretty, so nice to see. Yeah, I don't know. We're finally getting optic up here, which is interesting. Well, that feels like old news now. It does feel like old news. It's Rips like, and Sips video. It is a Rip and Sips. It's like it's, we're finally getting up here, and then like Contenders is. Someone had Contenders. Uh, I had Contenders basketball. I ripped some of that. I'm sure I saw Contenders football. I did see that somewhere too, but I, I, I saw did not GameStop. touch it. I'm not gonna buy it. No, I have not. Oh wait. Did I rip Contenders? I feel like I ripped a Contenders blaster. But why? CJ Stroud and Levis and Bryce Young all in the same box. Oh, oh I know which one I ripped. I ripped a Mega Contenders football. With auto. Which auto? I got a Dayan Henley. Green. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, they have them at the GameStop right now. The Eight Mega for parts. Contenders seems like a good thing. It's not, it's under $100 Canadian. Okay. And it says two mem, one auto per. I know the auto isn't great, but when you think about what you get normally when you rip Megas and stuff, mm -hmm. that's really decent. It's not bad, actually. Yeah. A lot of cards. 
I don't know if you can get numbered stuff in it, but that's I did rip a contenders football for that. I didn't even the CJ Stroud. I'm pretty sure I bulked that thing. It's gone. The CJ Stroud. Yeah, all the cards from it. I'm pretty sure I just bulked them all. Oh. Even the Chargers auto there. Oh, that, yeah, you were saying his name, and I didn't even know who he was. He's the Charger. There's some Charger nobody. He's probably off the team now. No! Got a new guy in command here, guys. Mm. But yeah, what's it called? It's pretty good. Um, so much stock of everything. Well, not really in stock. Okay, game stop. Meme stop. Should I take my cards in there to sell? You should just, yeah, just go um, do a quick exchange. I'm sure I heard they get pretty good rates. I want an Xbox. That's right. Give me the loot. Give me the loot. Oh. It's just weird. What else did I do? No, the allure thing on the wild is kind of weird. I ripped a, in the vlog on PEI, Prince Edward Island. I oh. went to two shops there. And that'll be in the vlog eventually if it comes out. But yeah, sometime down the line. I sent um tried the allure. That shop was whack, man. And then I went to like a TCG store that actually had sports <laughs> cards, but I don't think they even knew what to do with themselves. Did you try to you tried it? That's where I tried one piece and I tried the Marvel Flare. Oh, is that where you got the what's it called? The uh Galactus. Galactus, yeah. Yeah. That was maybe my premium card in there. I sold that thing in like 20 minutes. How much did you sell for? Uh, 18. That's pretty good. Or wait, maybe I sold it for 10. Um, Because I just don't care. Yeah. I, wa I wanted it to sell. Galactus. What are comps? Go below them. <laughs> yeah. Right? Bye bye. No, but then. See, like, okay, you have a card. I pulled it. It's worth eighteen dollars. And I, like I just said, will sell for under comps. Yeah. Because, it, but, what difference does it make? Four dollars. <laughs> right. That's, yeah. That's okay. Like the... Someone, someone's gonna tell me that, like, long term, it's gonna. Eat me up. I'm going to lose hundreds, thousands of dollars. It's like, holy shit. Yeah. You know, once you sell like 300 cards, like $5 below comps, you're going to be in the hole, bro. Yeah. I'm in. The, I'm freaking. Whatever, man. I don't do it myself. Thing, like, whatever. It doesn't matter. I always look at yeah, my cards that I'm putting on. The other, but that goes with the other stuff too. Like, okay, you pull a card, looks good. Now, how much did you rip, let's say, to get that card? That could factor in. Yeah. But you can also sub that card and spend, I guess, more money. And if it tends, it's worth all oh, this money. But that's, you know, whenever I hit like a downtown, I've never really been like, oh, yep. I got to fight everyone for the maximum price. Yeah. The comps are this. I want full comps. Yeah. So. I never really did that. Everyone's like, well, I pulled this card, so give me like a good chunk. Yeah. And I kept selling them. It's stupid. Then, you know, like you try to go back to that same person and be like, hey, man, sell me that card for a little bit less. Because everyone comes and jams us for 30% of off the comp. So it's like, excuse me? But I guess it's a one-way street for everyone around here <laughs> but the the greed level seems high lately um <clears throat> but oh getting back to you pull a card you sub the card let's say you pull the card and it tends well now it's like the maximum peak of where you can now cash out and this is where people always get caught up because they're like oh i should keep this card let's say because it feels like a huge grail you pulled it it's a 10 and it feels nice. Mm -hmm. Well, this is fine. Do you want to keep it? Go ahead. Because it's like the lowest you've ever bought into a card that has this high value. Yeah. Or 
it might not be that liquid anymore and it changes the market for who's buying it. You probably will have to sell it online, most likely, right? Because mm-hmm. that you need a bigger market. Not unless it's with <clears throat> David or Gretzky. I don't think a huge amount of money's moving around don't around be here. On you, yeah. So then it's like, do you? You don't have to. You know what? Maybe that's a worse example because let's say it's more of a fifty dollar card that tens. So now we're looking at like three hundred. 200 who knows somewhere in there and then people are like absolutely need to lock in on getting 200 dollars now it's worth that it's like really like you really need to do it like would you rather sit on something and let the market fade away or you're betting on every single card you have is going to be worth more money later let's see yeah or would you rather just make 150 dollars right away and just be okay with it well it's like Like you can make a lot of money doing it and making quick 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 or you can sit get screwed sit get screwed sit make money but now you're covering the ones where you got screwed on so like that's rough i think that's what happened with like anthony edwards Definitely mm-hmm. happened with Anthony Edwards. It's like, oh yeah, you know, he'll probably win a couple games next round, and he gets like murdered. You're just like, yeah. oh, okay, well, that sucked. And uh, mm-hmm. yeah, so I mean, I, we were we both had like Ant Man, and we thought he was going to go a little bit higher. We just hold a little bit longer, and then yeah, just didn't. But now out. all I do is grab Ant Man. So like, what's the lesson? Yeah, I mean, yeah, well, the thing is, his price is probably the cheapest going to be, uh, like because. Next season, he's probably going to want to tear. But he'll be a winner by then. He's going to be gold. a gold medalist. Yeah. Gold medal. So, I don't know. Gold medal. But then that's the thing. Like, he's got to win with the T Wolves at some point now. Yeah. I don't know. Did they, would they pick up something? They didn't do. Do anything, man. They did the least they could do. Well, good for them. I think every time the Mavs have brought a new guy in to like make it better, yeah, they take a step back, and then the next year they kind of figure it out again. Like, like a player, they bring a player. Yeah, they in? keep going like this, like up, down, up, down. Uh... Up, down. Because, like, think about that year they went and got, like, Porzingis and stuff. Oh, yeah. But Porzingis was... They, like, that just they dumped out. hard, though. They yeah. sucked. And the first year with Kyrie wasn't good. No, it was like, not. It was inconsistent and weird. Yeah. And then it was better the next time. Like they got to the finals or whatever. So now they brought in Clay to go with them all. I don't like, think there's going to be a, a drop. I don't think that's going to help anything at all. Like, they can't score when he's with Steph. What makes you think? I don't know. You think he's going to get a more open look? It's the same. Yeah. I'm like, you got Steph Curry and you can't get a. I think they just want someone bucket. there because Luca will get you the ball. But I mean, like, Luca's going to get the people that are, like, cutting to the basket the ball because Luca's always doing those weird, like, Oh, I'm gonna go behind my back. I'm gonna do this. So mm-hmm. I'm gonna go between my legs. He put it in his hat and he used the wand and it was somewhere else. Yeah. Done. Oh, and then he does the one like this and then he he throws it behind his back to somebody that's right behind him. Mm-hmm. Magical. Uh an extra player came out of his shorts and <laughs> scored the basket. <laughs> Insane. It was nuts. I don't know. I think they'll take a step back. I don't even know who would. Who did the most? Lakers didn't do shit. No. There's no. no it's the just going to be Celtics, Celtics again. Celtics are the same. And then, um, oh, the 76ers got the George oh, man. Yeah, Paul George. But I don't know. Having Paul George and. The thing about it is, like, I feel like the. Three uh, big threes, like dead. It's like the teams that are just, you know. Well, I mean, I guess you got 
Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Porzingis. Like the thing is, is that they weren't people that were brought in, like Tatum and Brown. Mm-hmm. They were drafted there, and then they built around them. Yeah, you know. So it's it's like building a big three by like expending like all your resources. Oh, the Nuggets got worse, right? Yeah. Well, they got rid of uh, Caldwell Pope. He went to the boys in Orlando. That's cool. See, you know what? If Orlando can get it consistent enough, they might push it out east there. The ranch man. Yeah, blank, blank, blinch. But like the West, I don't know. Maybe the, the T Wolves are fine. Is that be T Wolves or Thunder? I forgot about the Thunder. Because Thunder got Thunder will be better because Caruso's there. Yeah, I'm like they got Caruso. So. Get your but SGA it, cards now. SGA stuff isn't that bad. It is someone. No, no. The thing about it that's kind of whack is that RJ Barrett. Is outperforming him. No, he's at the uh, Olympics. Well, RJ Barrett always plays well when he plays on a national team. Yeah, which is RJ Barrett was supposed to be this good in the NBA. Yeah, type thing. I don't. I don't and he know. just hasn't panned out that way. I don't know. Jalen Brunson, or no, Jalen Brunson, and then RJ Barrett left, and now he's what? He's a Raptor now. So why isn't RJ Barrett playing as good as he is now on the national team? Is he's playing for his country? Yeah. So is Kelly Olenek. So is who else did they get? They have like I'm pretty sure majority of the Raptors are Canadian. Well, that's what they did right now. Yeah. It's, it's kind of wild. I think that Boucher, was like their plan. Boucher is They're just like Canadian. making Canadians go home kind of thing, just because, but it doesn't mean anything. Right now, we'll see. It's all getting somewhere. Well, it's like training camp, right? For football. It is. Yeah. So we're getting all our. Uh... Got all my cards up on eBay just in case there's some noise that's made this week. Got I'm my... just like. There's a game I've tomorrow. Been buying low end football cards because I just don't care. Isn't there a game tomorrow? Ba 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 ba. But Texans I'm pretty sure no Bears, hey? Yeah. But what's his name? I'm not going to play, of course. Caleb Williams. <laughs> Shut the hell up. Uh, yeah, geez, that's the most annoying thing ever. I just think it's funny because like, I'm trying so hard right now to buy football cards. I'm forcing myself in a way. Yeah. When and I hate you're, them all, all. Uh, you're all about football last year. Now you don't, you don't like football cards. I like football the most, sports wise, but now, like I don't even want to do fantasy football. Um, okay, I didn't football, want to do fantasy this year, know. but if Lost in the Cost is doing a league, then I guess I'll do fantasy football. Yeah, it will be like the people that come to trade night get in on it, and we well, that's what basically I was, that's what I was basically thinking about the a draft to for it night. and yeah. everything. Then we could record it at trade night. Uh huh. Okay. Let's do it. Super. Let's do it. Super duper. Yeah. But like, hey, you know what I hate? I hate on the football side of things, though. Like, okay, everything's training camp is all this, but it feels like the Super Bowl is already kind of set. We're looking at Love versus Stroud. Mm. Does that feel right? I mean Stroud for sure. Mm-hmm. But yeah, love love's prices are pretty insane right now. But I mean, like the Super Bowl is like locked in. You think so? Like what did who did the Packers? Everyone just keeps talking about oh the Green Bay Packers are gonna be scary good. Everyone oh just... this fucking Snee Jay Snow to Snooper Snood now. Ah oh, he's he's good, you know. Ever watch so, him and Micah Parsons stuff are pretty good. Micah Parsons. Oh the like their pod. Oh, just like, like why movie. are we buying Micah Parsons cards? No, 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 no. Just so he, <laughs> he like their banter is pretty funny. 
But yeah, you know what? I don't know. I've never, I haven't heard too much about the Packers, but I mean, out of the NFC, it's like Niners or Packers. Then who else, who else do you have from the NFC side that could potentially dethrone? The Eagles. Eagles suck, bro. Yes, exactly. That's why. <laughs> Third place. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they have Saquon. Hey, what are you going to do? Are you going to stop Hurts or are you going to stop Saquon? Ta-ta. Okay, so the Packers are the ones that I always think could take out the 49ers. Something yeah. to do with LaFleur over Shanahan. Uh-huh. But then, like, okay, 49ers will keep it together. They will be the class. Even if they have ups and downs all year, which they seem to. Doesn't matter. They never are like the rolling team. But yeah. then the Eagles, if they can bounce back this year, they're good. Yeah. So they're okay. It'll be fine. Did they they kept their coach, right? Yeah, Sirianni's still there. But new coordinators, both sides of the ball. Um so like I'm fine with it. Uh the Cardinals will look so good and do Nothing in the playoffs. That's a Cardinals thing to do. You, put the bet, you know what I'm put saying? The in the Cardinals Except the, playoffs. the scary thing is the coach for the Cardinals came from the Super Bowl losing Eagles team. So the culture could be way different. That's um, like the X factor more than anything. Yeah. On that side. Seahawks are cooked. They're done. They're going to fade. The Seahawks? Year. Yeah, the Rams and McVeigh obviously yeah. will be the same. Like they're gonna be maybe a bit better than they were, but still like just clawing constantly. Mm-hmm. And then Detroit's gonna have like this is the year Dan Campbell gets fucking fired now. You, you which one? Dan Campbell's gonna get fired. No in Detroit. Okay, yeah, you're just making shit up. No no. So they so. did all that stuff. They fought through the depths of hell. They got to where it was and they kept fighting. And then they lost the game on the dumbest. Like everyone cried about the way they lost the game. Yeah. So now he is on thin ice for making that kind of call. Do you okay. think so? Yes. Okay. Because people love, think about how conservative everyone is all the time. Mm hmm. You're the one guy that goes off script. Like, I'm going to do whatever I want and play it different. Guess what? If it doesn't work this year and they look terrible, because now everyone knows they're just like the gambling man. Or now that he's done that full gamble and it didn't work, so he's going to try to play conservative, which isn't what he does, he's going to look bad. Well, that's the same thing that, like, uh, Brandon Staley. Is he a conservative guy? No, he was, like, he, was he tried to. He, he was gambling, and then he went conservative. And then people were just like, why are you, like, so wishy-washy? Like, you should have gone for it. When, mm-hmm. like, but see, so, he got fired for that. He got fired, yeah. But he sucked. So, he was a bad coach. It's not like the Chargers were... Like, you know what? They have similar rosters, if you think about it. Yeah. There's stars there. Like what? Or, the running game was just so. Stars. This the running game was just so out of mind for the Lions last year that you think they can do it again? No, uh, I mean, yeah, dude. I don't know, man. They're good. Lions are a good team. We got a tight end. We're like Kansas City. Well, the Raiders. Raiders got a new tight end. They're Kansas City now. Yeah, with nothing else. We got the uh, Chargers. Aiden O'Connell that I didn't get any of his cards because I didn't buy him. You know what? All the Aiden O'Connell cards that I went to like watch list to buy that time, they're all sold. Well, yeah, like I so I'm I'm selling my like red, white, and blue Aiden O'Connell stuff. From to me, I'm no no, it's on eBay right now. You can buy it if How you much? want. How much is it? Right now, it's like only like $2. Let's trade, man. 
Oh, you want all of that for Aiden O'Connell? Yeah, sure. I'll try it. Oh, Sam. You really want Aiden? It's not centered. That means that you can get like a emergent rookie Edwards out of the deal. Yeah, no. To a club level, Jalen Hurts premier level, to a premier level. So that's concourse Hurts. Why do you Addison. want Aiden O'Connell? Will Levis optic. Let's go. Let's why, trade. Why? Why do you want him? Uh, he's just gonna start. Yeah. He's a starting quarterback. I'm gonna look through my junk pile. I'm pretty sure I have more Aiden O'Connell crap. Yeah, I, I don't have any left currently. Sure. I'm gonna take a look and I'll let you know. But mm, I just said the value originally for him. So it's a two dollar card with the potential to be very high if the Raiders look fine. You know what I mean? It's better than spending like, oh, I'm going to buy a $300 card for it to be uh, $310 because the guy's still good. Well, you know, I mean, Pierce is the head coach. I mean, they might do. They might be okay. They look they, they look okay they, after that They can season. take the place of the uh, the Lions. Ugh, no. Yo, think about Dan Campbell's first years, too. They weren't good. They've been good for like one year. It's the Raiders. So it was Detroit, man. Yeah, it's the Raiders. The Raiders have won more than Detroit ever did. Yeah. Well, but that's the thing that the Raiders like to hold on to. I'm going to hold on to it for them, too. Okay, well, go History, for, for some reason, in the NFL just keeps coming back. And Commitment to excellence. Yeah. Anyways, whatever. Oh, well, so we don't have I don't have the Lions. That's a very good team this year. They're not that high on the list. It sounds like they're like fifth in the conference for me at least. Well, tell that to the sun god. Yeah. So I said it. Maybe this is my Colin Coward terrible take. And come back and get me later. Yeah. Colin Off these Coward. sound clips. It's like, yo, that dude said the Lions were gonna be butts. And they were. Woo! Gotta make it, I gotta make a real of it now. Yeah. For documentation. How will this age? Oh, people people do love them freaking nerds, though. Which nerds? The Lions. Oh, th yeah, dude, the Lions are good, man. Goff just got paid. Well, they'll be all right. They'll be all right. I think. Be done. All right. All right now I gotta look at the Super Bowl colors because of the, you know, everyone. It's like green, theories. green and purple. It's like green and red. Green and red? Is it green and purple? It's like a watermelon. Is it a watermelon or is it a. Something? Yeah, it's looking watermelon y. I'm gonna know. say this is a Dolphins Niners Super Bowl. <laughs> Yay. I don't hate the Dolphins, to be honest. I'm starting to like push my brain in a way that's like McDaniels has the ability as well to out calculate. What did he, he was saying something recently that was kind of dumb? McDaniels? Yeah, he was saying something that was just like this guy's office. He's cooped too, though. Do you <laughs> notice that? I'm just like high on everyone that came off Shanahan's coaching tree, but not Shanahan himself. Yeah. Like LeFleur Lef and McDaniels. Ah. But it will be interesting. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Mm hmm. Chargers. That Super Bowl. Done. And that Seven. is how. We will finish this podcast. We probably should have ended it before anything then. Yeah. Episode 28. 20, what time uh, is it? 20, it's like 10 58. Yeah, 28. Episode 28. Thanks for listening. 
that was a little bit of uh, some ranting and whatnot. But uh, yeah, um, if you uh, think that the Lions are going to lose and uh, follow Pack Papa's pre pre prediction, uh, leave a comment below. Thanks. And, and bye. Well, they ain't going to win. Well, they're going to be middle of the pack. I'm sure they'll win the. All of, I'm sure they'll make it in the playoffs. Go second round playoffs. <clears throat> Dallas is going to beat them. Dallas sucks. In the playoffs, Dallas is going to beat them. No, Dallas sucks. Daiquiri.